Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a mixture of two different things. It's going to be about my Inktober drawing, which I'm doing today, and it's going to be a draw this again challenge, sort of. So I actually am going to talk about Inktober first, and then talk more about the draw this again challenge at the end of the video. So for Inktober, this is day seven now for me. Uh, this is actually the farthest I've ever gotten for Inktober. I wasn't sure if I was even going to make it this far, but I think this year I feel more confident with my art and I'm also, I guess I'm posting more consistently to Instagram and I started YouTube, so I'm pushing myself to do things that I think will better my art and I'm, I guess I'm more being like held accountable for what I'm doing. So if I say I'm going to do Inktober in YouTube or on my Instagram, I feel like I'm more obligated to do it now. So I'm actually having a lot of fun with Inktober. These drawings don't usually take too long for Inktober. They take about, I don't know, I'd say like an hour, maybe two hours, depending on the types of drawings that I've been doing recently. And so it's nice to try this. Uh, it's a little bit stressful because <laughs> you can see here I'm using a dip pen and I've never actually used one before I started Inktober this year so bear with me I am trying to learn <laughs> how to use it still but I'm not used to waiting for ink to dry so this piece this is the third day I believe I've used a dip pen uh, some days I use a dip pen, some days I use my brush pen, so it just depends. But this is the third, about the third day I've used the dip pen, and honestly, it's been hard to get used to. Usually I use uh, micron pens for doing any sort of outline, but I've never used a dip pen, so I actually have to wait for the ink to dry if I layer it on a lot. So you can see that I'm getting used to sort of drawing from left to right, but I did, I did still sort of mess up. Uh, there's definitely some areas where you can see me like flipping the sketchbook so far that I could get in there without like smudging my lines. And I'm so thankful I did not smudge this drawing. <laughs> I think the other two dip pen drawings I did, I have smudged, so I'm pretty bad with that. <laughs> but I think I'm getting better with it now. Uh, so to talk about the draw this again challenge. So this piece I did about, I think, I think it's two years exactly almost. I think it was October 6th, two years ago I drew this and now I'm doing it again. So on October 7th. So it's about two years, a little, uh, two years and a day since I did this. Um, Maybe I should have planned it out so I did it for the six, but whatever. Um, the differences with this, I think the hair looks a lot better. Uh, I think before, two years ago, the hair was way more stiff. Uh, I also showed you right before inking the 2016 one, I believe it was. So, uh, you're also going to see a, uh the picture again at the end of the finished new one and the old one just so you can have a reference of it again but yeah uh the main differences i really liked is the hair i think the old one the hair was way too stiff and just didn't look very good i think this year the hair looks a lot more fluffy i put more lines in it and there's more line weight in this one than there was in the previous one the previous one I did with microns, so there's a lot of like, I guess it's like hatching where it's just a bunch of different lines, but I didn't want that look. I wanted it just to be like one thick black line, but I couldn't get that with the microns without really just layering it on and I just didn't want to put the time into it that year. <laughs> so, but yeah, this year it, it looks a lot better. And the idea behind this piece was that it was a fall crown, like a flower crown, but like for fall. So 
when I did it two years ago, it looks more like a fall headband. So this year I really made sure that it looks like a like a flower crown, crown. So it's a fall crown. And I also think my eye style has changed a lot. So yeah, I think the difference is huge here, you can see. And I hope you think I, my art has improved a lot. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, thanks so much for watching if you made it through this. And I'll see you guys next week, next Sunday, for next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.